Elsewhere here in Alabama, Bibb County has seen what locals say is an unusual amount of crime during the past week. Sarah Macaluso joins us now live with more on that. Sarah. Philip, in the wake of shootings, a kidnapping, and an inmate escaping in Bibb County this week, locals say this is far from normal. And I wouldn't want to live in any other place. I've lived all over the country and uh, the United States, and uh, there's no place like home. And that's what many are saying after a week of crime in Bibb County. Wayne Deason has lived in Bibb County for over 50 years and knows the Murphy and Hubbard family. I feel bad for all of them. They was uh, all good people, but circumstances happen that take place. That, uh, strange things happen, and we feel very sorry for the uh, for the families, and, and uh, we are uh, praying for them and just hope that they will recover from this. Deason says the recent string of crime is not something that happens often. It's most definitely surprising. I was I was shocked because of uh, of what happened. You know, I just I had I had no idea. That doesn't represent Bibb County. Lydia Caddis is a 16 year old who has lived in Bibb County since she was born and says she's never feared for her safety. I mean, it's a small town. There's not many people that live here. I mean, we all know each other. Um, it's pretty shocking that, that those things have happened. I still feel safe because it's not like these things happen on a daily basis. Now, family and friends of the Murphys are currently planning a memorial service for Tammy Carpenter's sister, Candy. Live in the studio, Sarah Macaluso, WVUA 23 News.